um, today, like I said, we are going to make a double-sided sign. Okay. Obviously, sign, you can stencil this, which we're going to do. However, however much you guys sell your signs for, you could probably increase that amount by, I don't know, 10 or 15% by offering a double-sided sign. Now, this sign has a little hook on the back. I'm literally just going to remove the hook, okay? So while we're talking, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to, to remove that hook and you instantly have the ability to make a sign. Now, a double-sided sign. I have two designs that I made with my Icon Art system. If you are not familiar with Icon Art, I've been talking about it for the last couple of months. It is a reusable stencil kit that allows you to take any of your artwork. So I have, like I said, two SVGs, PNGs, from the Farmhouse Christmas Bundle on So Fancy. I sized them in Silhouette Studio so that they would fit here, and then I printed on my inkjet printer, okay? It prints out on an eight and a half by 11. All of this was printed on one. I had to cut it apart, I'll tell you why in a second. But you just print directly from Silhouette Studio to the film, okay, to the, the printable film, and then you use their special light, which I have off to the side, and you do the emulsion process and rinse, and then you have created your stencil. So we'll do this side first, and then we'll worry about our nativity. Okay, so I have these, This the one thing that's difficult, can be challenging, is to find um, craft or chalk paste. This is different than chalk paint. This is paste. The consistency is very, very thick. Um, and that's, but that's what I prefer to use for these stencils. And you'll see it, it works really well. Okay, so here's the stencil. After you print and all of that, it does have to dry for about an hour so that it's not wet at all when you are, um, when you are painting. You don't want it to be wet. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put it right in here. Make sure it's centered. Looks about center, okay? And this blue stencil sheet is pressure, done with pressure. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'll use the this red one. Um, this is the, I think this is just called like, oh, it's just called maroon. Okay, and then I like to use a silicone little spatula, okay? And just paint across. Okay, you don't need a whole lot, okay? This stuff dries very quickly. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I love this because it, I don't like painting typically. It, it, to me, it's just such a mess. This is so nice because it's just fast and easy. And the other reason I don't like painting stencils is because they're one-time use. These are not one-time use. <laughs> So it's a little more worth it for me. Okay, I can just take the excess off of there, scrape it back in to the container. Okay. I didn't even have to sand if you're just joining. This is just a board that I purchased um, on sale at the craft store, okay? So it was about 250 for this board. All right, now I can peel this stencil off of here. Are you able to see? Look at that, look at that, okay? You see how it's, okay? You see how it's all coming at once, right? So this is reusable. Now I just need to, here I'll twist this around so you can see. Now I just need to take this um, painted, stencil and take it into my utility sink or wherever and wash it out, okay? This dries very quickly. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna place this right in here. Make sure that it's even, okay? And I'm actually gonna do this one. I'm gonna paint this side and then I'll put the other side down um, so that because there's going to end up being a crease there and I just don't want to run my paint in, um, I don't want to run the paint over it by accident. Can you see here what I'm doing? Okay, so now this time I'm just going to use this paint, which is, uh, I think this is called Recollection, what's the brand? Oh, sorry, Redesign. Okay, all right. Obviously you can, um, 
use whatever color you want. I have a limited selection of colors here because it's hard to find chalk paste, but you see how thick this stuff is, right? It's very, very thick, which prevents it from bleeding through the stencil, all right? And again, this is a reusable stencil. If you're having trouble getting it to stick, Brayer to the rescue, my favorite, one of my favorite tools in my craft room. Look at the detail on that, okay? Lots of really small, fine details that would be hard to cut and transfer on a vinyl stencil, but with these mesh, stencils that you're use that you're making by literally just printing on your printer home printer inkjet printer my dinosaur of a printer and then using the icon art stencil uh, material and emulsion light you are able to make these silk screen stencils and get some really fine detail. And by the way, every time I talk about icon art, people say, well, what else can you do with it? You can make shirts and stuff as well. So it's not just for wood signs. I've used it for etching. I've used it for wood burning. Um, I've used it for textiles, okay? So lots of, lots of things. Let's grab this one, okay? All right, so there we have it, our double-sided sign that again, look at the detail on that painted sign, okay? These are obviously, um, these, are, these are just custom SVGs that I, were part of the Farmhouse Christmas Bundle. They both came together, but I was able to use them for two um, different signs. And again, I really think that a, an awesome idea when you're doing double-sided signs would be to do, especially around the holidays, would be to do one side Christmas, one side Thanksgiving, one side Halloween, one side Thanksgiving, stuff like that, where again, the, the, perch, the customer is realizing, oh, I can buy one sign, spend money on one sign, and have decor for two different holidays, it's less to store, it's less to, to buy. So anyway, a lot of different things that you guys can do um, for your business this time of year. If you are looking for tips on how to get started with your business, I would highly suggest cutting a profit. Um, obviously it's my book, so I suggest it, but I've jammed a whole lot of information in there on how to um, run a business. And if you're looking for the stencil kit, I did that. This is like 10 tutorials in one, so I'll just end it with that. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. See you soon.